Hello happy people, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use the WP Forms plugin to create forms for your WordPress or even Elementor website. Besides the contact form, you'll be able to create a number of forms for your website for free using this plugin which comes with a free version and also a paid for version. Besides that you can still integrate this plugin with payment processors like PayPal and Stripe. To get that plugin, you simply go to wordpress.org, come to plugins and right here you search for WP Forms. Once you search for WP Forms, it will just pop up here. But if you are in your WordPress dashboard, you simply go to the plugins area here. And once you click over here to add new plugin, it will bring you straight here. Then you can search for WP Forms. And you will get it right here down, shows up here, boom, has for now 2 million plus active installs with over 5,000 uh, reviews. So you can simply install it and activate it. I already have it here installed. Most people know it for creating contact forms. However, you can do so many other things with this plugin. For example, you can create a complaint form, you can create a bug tracker form, you can create a work order request, maintenance request form. For example, if we look at the IT service request form, this is how it looks like. You have the name, email, phone, department, and then you have these radio buttons here, then another suggestion, and boom, you can create it over here. On the other hand, you can even create like a gym registration form. You know, you can have all this here have these uh, options here someone to check on you know which is something really interesting and then any other additional forms and then someone can submit this information on your website using this plugin let's dive in and we create a contact form for our website using this plugin to start off we simply come over here to our dashboard then we head straight down here to forms come to all forms here all the forms that you created ready with this plugin they will show up here for now we have none so we simply say add new and here it will show up it will give us an option to create a form from you know scratch we can also use a form that is already pre-built we can also create a newsletter stop a sign up form a suggestion form and hey we are good to go for now let's use the already pre-made simple contact form and this will simply import the already generated uh, or pre-made contact form in our template. Now the other thing that you really have to know about this plugin is that you can simply drag and drop elements anywhere within this canvas. See? You can even bring over this other message box down here. You can again move this other area back here and it is 100% mobile responsive. We can add new other options like checkboxes to this, uh, to this form. We can change the choices. For example, this is the first choice. We can add more down here. Let's say fourth choice. We can choose which choices are required. For example, we can say someone has to check, at least check on any of these choices that we have selected for them. We can delete the choices or we can simply delete the whole a section on the other hand we can also add numbers emails and we can collect emails we can integrate with our mail provider for example here it's mailchimp for our newsletter by simply adding the section for our autoresponder in this case it's mailchimp we can simply select the list uh, which we want this person to opt into and then we can even rename what is happening here however i have to mention that if you want to collect uh, emails from different autorespondents like constant contact, Aweber, Drip, get response, then you'll have to get a paid version of this plugin, which I'm going to show you later on. And then also if you want to collect payments uh, from uh, your respondents, you'll also have to get a pro version of this plugin and you can integrate with PayPal and Stripe, which I find interesting, though it is a paid for option but really brings a lot of functionality to your forms that you build with this amazing plugin. Now, once we are comfortable with what we have created here, and then we can also make it required or not. So it is up to you. So in this case, I'll make it optional. 
you also have the other options like adding CSS classes. When we come back here to the other message option, we also have this advanced option. Still, we can decide the size. We can choose the size of our of our box. We can say whether it's small. We can either say it's large. However, for me, I prefer it to be medium. We can either show a label or even hide a label. When we come to the email option, we can choose whether it is required or not. We can also enable that someone has to uh, confirm their email once uh, they are feeding it in here, which I think is a smart idea because normally people make mistakes when they are trying to enter in their email addresses in such forms. And you can also give it another name. So in this case, we can say uh, demo form. And then on the notifications area, we can choose to which email this submission will go to. So this is the admin email. Uh, this is the email address that is added to your WordPress website. You can simply here enter the email address to receive the form entry notification. You can separate the emails with commas. So you have the option of adding more other emails. And then here the subject of the email once it comes right in your inbox. Let me say here, since this is the demo contact form, we can say demo contact form from ah let me say blog the from name should be who has sent the email this is our first field second field and then the third field so the first field is the name the second field is the email and the third field is the message so when we come here to the settings then we come to the notifications then we can say from name we say it is going to be the first field okay so from name is going to be the first field is what we want to read and then from email then we are going to add the second field because we want that when someone sends us an email the from email should be the second field that will be shown and then the reply to it should be the second field because if we want to reply to that person we just simply hit reply and we will uh, is the second field of their email and then in the message, we want to show all the fields, uh, name, email, and then the message itself. So once you set that up, then we can come over here to the confirmation. We can change what type of confirmation we want to show, whether just a message, which is this sample message, or we can show a page. Uh, it can be a specific page on our website, or we can actually uh, redirect someone to a specific URL on our website by simply pasting a url here so in this case i'll make it to be a show message but remember if you're creating like reservation uh, forms payment forms or registration forms you may want to redirect someone to a thank you page or like a confirmation page you can even uh, edit this message here and add what you want so once you are done with that you simply hit save and if we come back to our fields, this is how our contact form is going to look like. And then we have our newsletter sign up here. And uh, now what we are going to do is to save the form. And then we can simply come over here and then we copy this short code. And we close this, close this. Now, since we have created our form, we are going to come back here to our page, which we already opened in Elementor. For now, we'll start with Elementor. If you're not an Elementor user, I'm going to show you how to add this form to your WordPress website or your WordPress page without having Elementor. So once you open your page with Elementor, I'll reload this. Once the page loads back, I come over here to the section where I want to add my uh, contact form. Simply add come over here and then I search a uh, short code so the short code element is with Elementor and uh, you can simply add a short code to any area of your website so I'll paste the short code that we generated and boom we have our contact form here showing up we have our name email our name email message and all that stuff we can even do um, custom padding on this form can say here it is top and right so I can say right is let me say five right and left is five padding and then I can simply hit update when I preview this page want to see how that looks like boom we have our name email message and if someone wants to opt in into our newsletter 
and simply they submit once they submit this message it will come automatically to the email that you decided to receive all notifications from your forms on the other hand if you're not using elementor you simply just come over here to your pages in this case i'm going to create a new page let me just call it form then i'll say publish page when i publish a page i'm going to come over here and then i'm going to add a block and i'm going to search for short code so when i add a short code block then i simply paste the short code here once i paste the short code into my page i simply hit update and then right here i can say preview page or view page and boom we have our page name and we have our contact form right here so congratulations on adding a contact form to your wordpress website or even your elementor website now on the other hand i want to show you in case you want the pro version of this same plugin because with the pro version you're able to create more other forms if you have the pro version use it on unlimited sites you have premium support uh, then it is enabled on WordPress multi-site, then client management, you can go for a version or you can go for a pro pack that suits you like where in case you want to integrate with MailChimp forms, Aweber forms, GetResponse form, Drip forms, uh, PayPal, Stripe, Survey and Polls, user registrations, uh, user registration, login form and a lot more other here you can simply check out i'll provide a link down in the description below um, it's actually my affiliate link and you're not charged an extra buck if you use it but i receive a commission on uh, a purchase that you make but either way if you find out here a plan that works out for you you can uh, give it a try however if you simply just want to create basic contact forms or registration forms or feedback forms you can simply use this plugin for your wordpress website that's how we can create free forms for our wordpress website using the wp forms plugin in case you have any questions comments please feel free to let me know in the comment box below i'll be happy to respond to them thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one